Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sitting down and I'm doing a video that actually has been requested multiple times by multiple people on my channel. And I know, I know a lot of times influencers, YouTubers, whatever you wanna say, say that they always say like, oh, this has been so highly requested, but like legitimately this has been asked by quite a few people for me to do this. And it is an Amazon favorites video. So I love watching other people's Amazon favorites videos. So I figured what the heck, I love watching them. It's being asked of me, why not sit down and talk about a bunch of goodies that I have gotten off Amazon that I just legitimately love with my whole heart that I use all of the time. I sit down and tell you guys about them before we get started couple of things. One, the lighting. I feel like in this video is going to be a little wonky. I'm sorry. I am in front of my windows and they are completely open and I have like my ring light and another light and it's just, it's just a little weird. It's really, really gray and dark here today and rainy in Ohio. So I'm just kind of like working with what I got. Also, if you like this makeup look, it is the first look that I did with my one week one palette, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina palette. So if you like this look, it is in that video for you guys. I really don't know which one is gonna go up before the other. I'm on spring break right now. So I'm just kind of filming videos for you guys and I haven't fully decided like the schedule of when things are going up and when they are not. So. Be on the lookout for that if it is not up. And if it is, I will go ahead and link it in the description box below for you to check out. This is not going to be everything that I love from Amazon. I had to like narrow it down and just pick a couple because if not, I would be here for like five hours and no one wants to watch a five hour long YouTube video. So other than that, don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And other than that, if you're excited and you wanna hear about a couple goodies from Amazon that I just love, then let's go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and broke it down kind of into sort of categories for you guys. And also not all of these are still available. I don't know why Amazon does this. I don't know if like they just buy certain items for a certain amount of time. And then once that time is up, they stop selling it or like there, I feel like there's always different sellers selling different things. I don't really know the back end and what's going on with Amazon, but some of these items are actually not still available, but I will try my best to link the most similar items to what I have um, in the description box for you guys. Also, I have an Amazon storefront. You guys probably didn't know that because I'm really not good about uh, advertising it. And also I'm really not that good at um, updating it and having it like up to date with all of my favorite products. So sorry about that. I will try to make sure it is updated before this video goes up. But if you ever wanna know like more of my favorites that I don't talk about in this video, I will have my Amazon storefront linked down below. They are affiliate links. If you shop through it, I get a little kickback. Just being transparent. So I figured I would start off with the more like makeup -y kind of items. So the first one I want to talk about is the Purerito Sika Clearing BB Cream. I have two of these. I got both of them off Amazon for like $11 each, I believe. I have the shade, well, the first one I bought was the shade number 23 Natural Beige. It was just a little bit too dark for me. So I ended up picking up the shade number 21 Light Beige. And this one works well for me right now. And this one I think will work better in the summertime. I love this. This has amazing coverage. When you think of BB cream, you don't really think of coverage. This is amazing. And I actually think that it wears really, really beautiful on my skin. And it just makes my skin look good it just makes it look so pretty and put together and i really highly recommend the shade range sucks i'm not gonna lie there's these two and then one other darker one shade range sucks so i'm really really sorry about that but if you can find a shade that works for you i love this i love this so so much and then another makeup -y kind of item i wanted to talk about is these beaky sponges i just use it to get ready so sorry it's not clean i guess i could have cleaned it for you guys and I didn't. So I'm sorry about that. But there is a brand on Amazon called Beaky Sponges and they, I full disclosure, they did send me a set a while ago. I did a giveaway with them on my Instagram a while ago now, but I still have been like working my way through that set and I love these sponges and they are a really great deal. You can get like a set of five sponges for 10 ish dollars and they are so soft and squishy. They wash well. They're really nice to apply your makeup. I mean, it's a makeup sponge. They're kind of I, I was gonna say they're kind of all the same, but I guess they're really not, honestly. But these are great. I think they're great quality for a great price. I love them. This is like the last one of the set that they had sent me a while back. So I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing them once I need to replace this one. Then I talked about this sunscreen in the past, but I just wanted to mention it again really quickly. It is the Misha Soft Finish Sun Milk SPF 50. This is such a good sunscreen. I will say it's a little kind of 
on the drier side. So if you have really dry skin, I don't know how well it will work for you. I do have to be a little bit careful with this because it is kind of drying, but I really like the sunscreen a lot. I've been through, I think this is my third or fourth tube of it and I will definitely repurchase it when it's gone. I'm like here, it's like almost gone. It just gives your face such a like, like the soft finish name to it is accurate. It just gives such a soft, almost powdery, but not finish to your skin. Um, I, I just really, really like this sunscreen a lot. I've been through quite a few tubes of it and it's a good one. Also, I have a makeup traveling case. This is old. I've had it for quite a few years now and it's dirty. It's really dirty. So please don't judge when I open it up, but it is just this black, big, sturdy, like hard, nice, makeup case that it protects my makeup whenever I am traveling. Obviously, um, we're in, still in a global pandemic, so we're not traveling that much. And honestly, before the pandemic, I really didn't travel that much anyways, but this was nice for when I did travel. It's nice and big. It holds a lot of makeup and it protects it, like I said, because it is hard shelled. So on the top here, it comes with this little section that you can put your brushes down in it. And then behind it, it has a a zipper that you can like put things in it as well. I would put um, maybe like eyeshadow palettes there because they're a little bit larger. And then down in the actual component, sorry, it's it's a mess, just please ignore that. It comes with these like dividers that you can basically take out, put in, you can put them wherever you want. So you can kind of customize it and make it fit whatever makeup you are taking or you can completely take them out and have it all open. It's really customizable and you can do whatever you want with it, which I think is really, really nice. Yeah, I am not sure if this exact one is still available, but I will try to link something similar to it if it is not, but this is a really good travel makeup case for sure. The next thing is this little handy fan. <laughs> I always use this to dry my setting sprays. Is it is it bougie? Is it unnecessary? Yes, for sure. But I love this. You see me use this in almost every single get ready with me. You just turn it on. It's got three different. Is it dead? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's got three different settings, so it can get pretty intense. <laughs> I love this thing. Like I said, you see me use it in like every single solitaire get ready with me and it's great. And it lasts a while on a charge. I feel like I've had this for over a year and I promise you I've charged it two times and that's it because it just lasts for a long time, probably because I only use it for a couple seconds when I'm drying my setting spray, you know what I mean? But it lasts a really long time. I, I really don't think this exact one is available, but again, I will link one that is similar to it. The next thing I wanna talk about isn't really like makeup related, but if you have like a makeup Instagram account or skincare account or blog or anything like that, I have this little macro lens that I use if you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, it is always linked down below for you if you want to go ahead and check that out. I made up a hashtag called Makeup Macro Monday and it's just people taking up close personal pictures of makeup, skincare, tools, anything you wanna take a picture of and you post it and use the hashtag and I always look at them every Monday, share them in my stories and all of that. And that whole hashtag started because of this macro lens I ended up buying. I actually got the idea from my friend Eve. I will have her Instagram linked down below. It's Eve Style 82 I believe. And she was talking about using a macro lens on her stories a while back. Like I started that hashtag almost a year ago. So it was a while back and I messaged her and I was like, oh, what, what's that? And so she sent me a link to this and it came with like a wide lens too, but I've never used that. But I just like clip it onto my phone onto the camera and it just creates a macro lens and like zooms it in. And that's how I take all my Makeup Macro Monday pictures. And yeah, I love this. Again, this one is not available, but for like the fifth time, I'm going to link something very similar. And then the last kind of makeup -y items I wanna talk about are more organizational things. So the first one is these gold cups that you see on my desk. It came in a set of three, the other two are back there. And I just hold brushes in it and then one of them holds my little handy fan. And I just think they are so cute. I think they are really dirty with fingerprints, sorry about that. But they like totally match the whole aesthetic I have for this room when I was creating this room and like painting it and all that. I really wanted this pretty blush pink shade on the walls and then I wanted pretty much everything white with gold accents and then my green chair that is in the corner over there. And so I just bought these off Amazon. I love them. And then I also have a couple other things I wanna talk about. I took some videos that I'm gonna like superimpose on top of this and they are lip gloss holders and blush holders. So they are just organizational little clear containers that you've seen pretty much every YouTuber or Instagrammer have that holds their makeup. And it just holds a bunch of lip glosses, a bunch of lipsticks, and then it keeps my blushes and bronzers nice and organized so I don't have to worry about them 
rolling all around or getting broken or you know smashing into each other they're just in their own little compartment which I really really love I also have a bunch of gold accented things that I bought that I also really love and I just think really go with the whole aesthetic of my makeup room that I have one of them is a gold palette holder this was actually on like the office supplies section and it was supposed to be like folder holders but you know buying them and I have my palettes in them and then also those wire the gold wire baskets that I hold my empties in as well and I also have these gold and white shelves that I have on my wall that I just think are super, super cute. And then those clear containers with the gold tops that I also bought off Amazon that holds a bunch of like perfumes, mascaras, and then the other bigger one on my shelf holds all of my nail polishes. So that was kind of all of the makeup y kind of items I wanted to talk about. I want to move on now to more like jewelry, clothing, all of that. Again, like I said in the intro, this is not everything that I have tried on Amazon. I have bought swimsuits from Amazon dresses, pantyhose, slippers. Like I bought a ton of things on Amazon that I'm not going to be talking about in this video, but just know that like pretty much everything I've tried so far has been pretty decent quality. But the first thing I wanna talk about is these pearl hoop earrings that I bought. My friend Hannah was wearing earrings really similar to these when I saw her a couple weeks ago. And I was like, um, those are so stinking cute. Where'd you buy them? She said Amazon. So I literally just typed in like pearl hooped earrings and these popped up. They're not like the best quality. I have to be really careful, like clasping them and stuff. Like they're not, they're not the best. Like I feel like if I wasn't careful, they would probably break, but they were only a couple dollars on Amazon, so why not? Even if they do break, you can always just repurchase them. But I love them so much. My birthday is in June, so my birthstone is pearl. I actually never used to like pearls until like a couple years ago, and now I'm obsessed with them and I love them. But I just think they are so pretty. I also have these earrings that I got from Amazon as well. Obviously, I'm, that's everything I'm talking about in this video is from Amazon. But these are these like just little simple hoop earrings. I have them in silver. They just look so cute on my ears. They're really small little hoops. And then I also bought them in gold as well. You guys have seen me wear both of these many times on past videos on my channel. I love these so much. And these are actually really good quality. They're from a brand called Pavoi, I think, P-A-V-O-I. And I have seen a bunch of other earrings from them as well that I have my eye on that I might purchase in the future. But these have been such good quality. I actually lost one of the gold ones. It like fell back behind my uh, nightstand a couple months ago and I could not find it anywhere. I was this close to repurchasing it because like I love these earrings. I was like, I can't not have them in my life. I ended up finding it. Obviously I didn't have to repurchase them, but I would have, I would have. That's how much I love them. And they are only a couple dollars. They're so cute and they're just like really on trend right now. I think these are still available, so I will definitely have them linked down below for you. I also wanted to talk about these t-shirts that I got to sleep in. They're just plain soft t-shirts. I have this gray color and I actually have a more maroony kind of red color that I is still in my room. I didn't grab it. But these are so stinking soft and comfortable. I love the material. The material is so soft and also it doesn't have any tags on it so it's really comfortable to sleep in. I am pretty much a large everywhere in every type of shirt but I sized up in these and I got extra larges in them just because I wanted them to be really loose and flowy and comfortable when I'm sleeping. I didn't need to do that. They're actually a little bit too big. Not that I care because I'm just sleeping in them but if you end up buying them just get your normal size. I don't think you need to size up. Again, I just wanted them to be nice and loose and comfy, but they are just these little v-neck tees. I actually prefer v-necks that to sleep in because when I'm doing my skincare, I like this to just be open and I can just drag all my skincare down below. And if it's like a higher collar, then you have to like move your shirt. It's just, it's just a thing. But yeah, they're just like these plain t-shirts. I love them. Like I said, I have two colors in them and I probably will buy more in the future because they're so soft and comfy. They are from the brand Latuza. L-A-T-U-Z-A. I don't know. I'll link these below. And then the next thing I want to talk about are leggings that Jessica Braun talked about in her uh, quite a few of her Amazon favorite videos. They're just these like plain black leggings. They go all the way down to the bottom. They are from the brand Colorful Koala. I got a size large in them. I have this black color and then I actually have like a dark gray color that I'm wearing right now. So I couldn't show them to you. I have these leggings on all the time. Anytime I'm filming, anytime I'm filming, I have one of these two leggings on and then like a cute shirt because I just want to be like comfy and cozy on at the bottom. And like I said, I've got two colors in it and I just, I love these so much. She said that they were dupe for the Lululemon leggings. I personally don't own any Lululemon leggings, so I don't know. But Jessica Braun said they were, so. But like I said, I have two shades in them and I love them so much. They are so stinking comfortable and I probably will buy more in the future. 
<laughs> and then the last like clothing kind of item me kind of thing I want to talk about are these little cute scrunchies that I got a while ago they just have these little um bows on them and you just put them in your hair you can put the bow up like this I've worn the bow down at the bottom as well I will say I'm not wearing them a ton now because I got my hair cut and I just have been trying trying to wear my hair down but when I first started my YouTube channel like last summer I had a lot longer hair and I was wearing my hair in like buns and ponytails a lot and this is just a really cute way to spice up a bun or a ponytail or anything like that but it came in a pack of like all these different colors so it literally does not matter like what outfit you are wearing it will uh it'll match you you'll find one that will match you and like i said i just got this set all together i think all of these were maybe like 10 or 12 dollars i don't know if these are still available i will try to find them but i just think they are so cute to just add to a ponytail or a bun or anything to just make it like just jazz it up a little bit you know what i mean next i have a couple like food items i wanted to mention and then i have three just random items that didn't really fit in any other category but i still wanted to talk about them but the first thing i want to talk about is this jordan skinny syrups so i put these into my coffee every morning and i really don't know what's in here because it says zero calories and zero sugar it has like zero carbs zero sugars like i said um no saturated fat, no total fat, no trans fat. I, I don't really know what's in here. I really don't, but I really love these. I have this one right here, which is hazelnut, but it comes in a ton of different flavors. I usually get like a pack of five. That's like a variety pack. It's got like hazelnut, vanilla, uh, mocha, like cinnamon vanilla. I don't know. There's a ton of different flavors. I will say though, I showed my mom that you could get these on Amazon and she looked them up. I guess they're cheaper at Bed Bath & Beyond. I personally just never go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I would like to say because the pandemic and you're like not supposed to go out, but honestly, it's I'm just lazy. And I just would rather have it delivered to my door. But these are so yummy. They're pretty strong though, so just be careful if you end up purchasing them. I just put a tiny bit into my coffee in the mornings. But I've told a couple of my friends about them and they ordered them and started using them. And it's a great way to add flavor to your coffee without adding extra sugar, extra calories or anything like that. I just put a little splash of this, a little splash of milk, and then my coffee. And I've been using these for, I don't know, probably a little over a year now. And they're great and they taste really good too. All the different flavors are really good. I haven't tried one that I don't like. And then I kind of wanted to just mention this brand Pure Protein. So I buy their protein bars like this. And then I also buy their like protein, like meal kind of replacement shakes. And that I don't have any of those right now to show you. And I really just buy these off of Amazon because I like to just eat them slash drink them in the mornings for work for breakfast. I just am not the type of person that will get up early to make myself breakfast. I just, am, I won't do it. So I have like a 15 minute gap in between my door duty in the morning and then when like school actually starts and the kids you know are like up and moving around and so I will sit in my room and I will eat one of these bars or I will drink one of those drinks and it's just a really nice way to get a breakfast in that's not too too filling but does seem to fill me up until my lunch break this comes in a bunch of different flavors as well and so do the shakes so that's something to keep in mind if you're someone who maybe doesn't eat breakfast or wants to incorporate breakfast but doesn't really know how or anything like that and they actually taste pretty good i know sometimes protein drinks and protein bars and stuff like don't taste good but i personally like the bars and the drinks and then the last thing i wanted to talk about is a tea that jessica ron has mentioned a ton of times on her channel so you've probably heard her mention them if you watch your videos as well but it is the harney and sons fine teas this is the decaf hot cinnamon tea so she has talked about this on her channel a ton of times um she's talked about the normal one and the decaf but i went ahead and just got the decaf because i don't know I, I drink my coffee in the morning and that's really the only caffeine that i really want or need throughout the day but on the side here it says our decaf version of the hot cinnamon spice will add some warmth to your cup without keeping you up at night the ingredients are decaf black tea orange peel natural and artificial cinnamon flavors cinnamon and cloves and this just tastes like a hug like I drank it a couple weeks back when I wasn't feeling well and this just made me feel so much better it definitely is cinnamony but I don't want that to scare you like when I'm drinking it it kind of reminds me a little bit of a fireball those like little red like candy balls if you ever had them when you were younger my dad used to eat them all the time and i would want to be cool and like eat them with my dad and it always like burned my mouth up but that it does kind of remind me of that but not in an overpowering way like the cinnamon is there but it just tastes good and like i said it just tastes like a warm hug it just comes with these tea bags you just steep them and 
yeah, they're delicious. Even smelling it. Oh, even smelling it smells good. I actually haven't drank one of these in a couple weeks, so I need, I need to get on that. Maybe when I'm done filming, I will make myself a cup of it. Okay, the last three items are just kind of random items that I didn't really know where to put. The first one is a silk pillowcase. I've kind of touched on silk products in the past on my channel, but I've been using a silk pillowcase for over a year now, and I just really, really love it. It's very soft on my skin, on my hair. Washing it's kind of annoying because you have to be a little bit more careful washing it, but I just really genuinely love it. I don't have it to show you because like I didn't want to like <laughs> lug my pillow in here, hold it up and be like, here's my pillow. But I'm sure you know what a silk pillowcase looks like. I just have a white one. I actually have had to replace it. Um, my other white one got like stained. I don't know if it's from like my skincare or uh, I don't know. So I, I did have to replace mine, but I feel like I had my first one for like over a year or so. So it's not something that you have to replace very often. And they're really not that expensive on Amazon. You can get one for about $20. So I feel like $20 a year is not that bad. And it's been proven that silk is a lot better for your hair, your skin. It helps with your hair not breaking and it helps with your skincare like soaking in and not getting like absorbed into like a cotton pillowcase or anything like that. So I've been using a silk pillowcase for a long time now and I love it. The other thing I want to talk about is earplugs. <laughs> I told you they're random. Earplugs. Yeah. So I have a brand called Adept and it is their noise canceling earplugs. I will pop a picture here. I actually don't, they're not available anymore. I don't know why. Um, I, and I didn't, I couldn't find them to like show them to you in person. They're somewhere in my nightstand. So I don't know where, so I'll eventually find them. But these are actually really, really good earplugs. In my opinion, I have a pair and then I ended up buying my pair as well. I am such a I wouldn't necessarily say a light sleeper because I don't feel like things wake me up easily, but I have a really, really hard time falling asleep at night. I will lay there sometimes for hours and just lay there trying to fall asleep and I can't. Any little noise that I hear will just keep me up all night. So I either need the fan to cancel it out or these earplugs. And I feel like they're really good about canceling out noise. I know they're noise canceling ear earplugs. Um, sometimes Mike snores and I will pop those in and I don't, I wouldn't say they completely like blanket out or sometimes our kitty like will meow in the mornings at our door. So we'll like put in our earplugs. And again, it doesn't like completely blank out all the noise, but it definitely does enough, I think, to help me sleep. So. These are great. I'll try to find ones that are similar. Obviously, I haven't tried the ones I'm going to link for you, but hopefully they're just as good as these ones. And they're just really great. If you have trouble sleeping or you just need good earplugs, these are really great ones. And then the last thing I want to talk about is like really, really random. And it is the Elmer's Tack and Stick Reusable Adhesive. So you're probably thinking, Emily, why are you talking about this? What? Okay, I use this to place my makeup items on my flat lays. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, I put up flat lays pretty often of the different makeup that I use for different get ready with me's or different looks or anything like that. And for the longest time, when I very first started my Instagram page, like three years ago, I was using tape to like tape down my products. Like th when things are circular, they like to roll. And I am just too much of a perfectionist to have anything like not look perfect. <laughs> like all the makeup items have to be like straight up and down with the labels like facing out and all of that. What I was doing is I was using tape and I remember someone, I can't remember who now, but someone like two years ago commented on one of my pictures and was like, why don't, or asked me, how do you get your, you know, like makeup products to look so perfect? And I said, oh, I use tape. And I think someone else commented on that and said, well, why don't you just get like that tacky stuff that you can reuse and that way it's, you know, better for the environment. You're not using tape all the time. And I was like, that is genius. I'm a teacher, we use this. We use this at school all the time to like tape stuff up around our classrooms. And I just like never thought to use it for that. So that's what I use it for. And I've actually been using this little one the whole time and I have a ton left. I'll probably have to take it into school. So yeah, I just like put this, like say this was an item that, you know, would roll around. Obviously this would lay flat, but I would just put it on the back and I just stick it on my table that I take on the table that I'm using right now. It's like a white table I got from Ikea and that's like usually my background of my pictures when I, that I put up on Instagram. And then it just like sticks onto the table and just holds it in place. So yeah, this is really random. But if again, like I said earlier, if you have a makeup Instagram account or a skincare account or a blog or anything like that, and you want to put items down on a flat surface and they just roll around and don't sit how you want them to, this stuff is great. And it's only a couple of dollars and you can just reuse this forever. Like I've been reusing this one for like two years now and it's just a little 
hack, a little life hack that um, isn't going to apply to a lot of people. Because if you're not taking pictures of your makeup, you probably don't need this. But if you are, it's just a little tip from me to you to help your pictures go a little bit smoother and maybe look a little bit better. And that was it, you guys. That was a bunch of products that are my favorites that I've gotten from Amazon. Again, like I said, this is not everything I've ever tried from Amazon. But these are just some favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. Just little things that I use in almost my daily life that I love that I just wanted to kind of tell you guys about. Thank you to everyone who did request this video. Please let me know in the comments of any this video and any of my other videos what kind of videos you would like to see from me. I have said this a million times and I will always say it. I want to make sure I'm making videos that you guys like to watch. So if you have a request, let me know down below. I hear you. I hear the people who are requesting a hair curling tutorial. That has been requested on my channel and my Instagram account for a while now. And then also I hear the people who are asking for like a vanity tour, makeup room tour. I will eventually do that as well, but your girl needs to clean. Your girl needs to clean before that happens. So those two requests I hear and I promise I will make happen in the future. But like I said, any other requests that you want to see from me, please leave them down in the comments. I love seeing requests and getting video ideas from you guys. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will try to have as much linked down below that I can or similar items to it. If you made to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.